What's up guys, it's your boy Zion and I wanted to bring you this real quick Destiny video. Guess what's back? And nobody cares. Fucking Iron Banner is back and it's one of those things where it's like a love-hate relationship. So, Lord Saladin's back in the tower giving out Iron Banner things. Your rank and everything's reset for the Iron Banner. Um, the cool thing is, you can go ahead and get gear from doing the Iron Banner and stuff that what you basically do is you can almost get raid quality gear by doing the iron banner so if you grind out the iron banner the entire time it's here and you don't have a squad to do the raid you can get raid quality gear as a reward in the iron banner now this is cool the problem with this is it's fucking crucible like i i know me myself i'm decent at crucible um I, I go ahead, I understand mechanics, especially in like matches like control and shit like that. But Crucible is not my favorite thing to do in Destiny. I'd much rather do PvE. The problem is I do not have people to do um, a full-on raid with. So here becomes my issue. The Iron Banner is awesome because it's something I can go ahead and grind out. And you can get raid quality gear. But the way they set it up is you still need a raid, I believe it's a raid helmet, to go ahead and um, a raid helmet or a piece of raid gear along with the two pieces of gear you can get from the Iron Banner. You need to have at least one of those raid pieces of gear before you can hit level cap. Um, so it, it's a love-hate relationship because I can sit there and grind out Iron Banner the entire time it's here and not get the fucking crucible gear I need and then I could also grind out the iron banner and get the pieces I need but then there's no guarantee I'm going to get the raid gear so it's it's really like a love fucking hate relationship because I'm gonna fucking try my best to grind out the iron banner get my gear and stuff and then hopefully I've been trying to see if I can solo the uh, beginning of the raid and see if there's a viable way I could show you guys in which you could solo that beginning piece and I believe you get raid gear from that first checkpoint right after you raise the bridge. If I can figure this out, I'll definitely have a video for it in the future, guys. Make sure you keep an eye out for that. I can't fucking talk. It's been a long day. Sorry about that. Well, that's basically this video. And there's another really cool thing that I, I'm actually really happy to see. Um... Last week, I guess, you could say um, Bungie locked out people with the weekly Nightfall and stuff. They went ahead and they made the weekly strike and the Nightfall DLC exclusive strikes. So, it locked out everyone who did not own the DLC, who did not want to buy the DLC, who just didn't have the money to get it. It locked everyone out, basically, from getting gear from Xur. Um, and the the fucking Nightfall strike, the reason why you didn't see a... a Omnigool made easy is because there was like no making that strike easy You could sit there and bang your head against the wall for hours And the only way to make it any easier is invite two of your fucking friends Like if you don't have friends to go ahead and do that strike, it's a bitch doing it solo sucked so What I want to go ahead and say is this week they gave us Fogoth Fogoth is the strike for this week, which isn't too too bad um, it's still Arc Burn, so you still have to watch out for Knights, Wizards, and I think that's it, and Acolytes if they have that fucking Hive Boomer thing, but that's all you have to watch out for. It's actually a really easy strike as opposed to the Omnigool thing, so it looks like Bungie is kind of apologizing and being like, here, here, we'll throw you guys a, a, a bone, not a sexual bone, just like a bone and give you guys a strike that you can most definitely get all your strange coins and stuff up for sure who should be coming in a few days so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like a comment a favorite and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys later peace